Hey everyone, Richard Metal Fan here, bringing you guys a concert review, and I'm gonna be reviewing a show I went to last night at the SunTrust Park Stadium in Atlanta, Georgia. And as you see below the title, last night I saw Metallica, Avenged Sevenfold, and Volbeat. Now, this was my first time seeing all the bands, but the one band I was looking forward to seeing was, was of course, Metallica. They've been on my bucket list of bands to see live ever since, well, I got into metal. Well, I mean, I mean, I did a video, like, back in, like, February discussing I was going to go to the show. I mean, I got my ticket. I mean, it cost me, like, 77 bucks. I mean, I'm sort of, like, up in the higher seating. I was just, like, I just didn't really give a shit if I'm, like, far away or, like, way fucking up close in the pit. I just wanted to see them live so I could, my life would be complete. <laughs> and before you could tell, yes, my voice is kind of a bit fucked up from, like, screaming being at the top of my lungs last night from all the songs. But last night was a pretty good show. I had a great time. Now, I went with some friends of mine. I mean, it took forever to find parking. We were, like, going all around and stuff. But we got there just, like, when the opener, Volby, got on. And, my God. Like, Volby, for me, I mean, I actually really enjoy their music. They're really catchy and just fun to listen to. They played, like, some familiar tunes. They played, like, Lola Mon Montez, uh, Seal the Deal. And I really loved that they, they played uh, Sad Man's Tongue, which is, in my opinion, my favorite Volbeat song. And I actually got a video of that uploaded already. You should check that out on my channel if you get the chance. Yeah, they, they're a pretty good band. They have very catchy and just fun to listen to. Yeah, I mean, I did see a couple of friends there. I mean, it's kind of hard to see everybody since there's literally, there was literally like 50,000 people at the show show I guess I mean I'm not, I'm just guesstimating I'm not too entirely sure but yeah and I wanted to get some merch but I didn't end up getting any because like the lines were like way fucking long they're like a mile long and like the merches are like way fucking overpriced like 40 bucks for a shirt like really why would I pay 40 bucks when I can go on, go online and get cheaper for like 20 yeah, but but I already I mean but besides the point I, mean, I already have like four Metallica shirts so yeah but but anyway, back to the show. Next band we're going to talk about is Avenged Sevenfold. Now, for me, Avenged Sevenfold, I've grown out of since a few years ago. I mean, ever since then, like, aside from, like, their last album, like, like ripping off a bunch of bands and the band sending, like, idiots in the media, I kind of steered away from them. But I decided to give them a chance just for, I guess, nostalgia, I guess. I don't know. And I won't lie, they put on a pretty good show. When, I mean, when it comes to Avenged Sevenfold, I mainly like their older shit from, like, Waking the Fallen. I mean, they closed with Unholy Confessions, a good, and Nightmare, which, I, which in my opinion, I thought was their last album I actually really enjoyed. They played a couple songs. They played the song Nightmare and uh, Buried Alive. And they played a couple of good other good songs, like Afterlife and uh, Almost Easy, Backcountry, all that good stuff. But yeah, they were pretty good. But... And then we get to Metallica. Oh my god. This was a band I've been dying to see live. And my god. Like, the set list was pretty good. Like, they opened up with uh, Hardwired, which is from their new album, Hardwired to Self-Destruct. They played a couple of new songs from the album. But I think they played that. Atlas Rise, uh, Moth in the Flame, uh, Now That We're Dead, Halo on Fire. Of course, they played, like, the classic stuff, like, one, Master of Puppets, For Whom the Bells Toll, Creeping Death, and they played mainly a lot of Black Album songs, like, uh, Unforgiven, uh, Wherever I May Roam, uh, Nothing Else Matters, uh, I think that I really lost it when I played Battery, and they also played, uh, the, the, I'm trying to remember, one, uh, fuck, I already said that. And, of course, they closed with Enter Sandman, which, it, in my opinion, I think is the most overplayed and overrated Metallica song. But, yeah. Overall, Metallica was a great show. Probably the best show I've seen. One of my, in my opinion, now, my favorite show, one of my favorite shows of all time. Period. Like, and this is easily going to be the highlight for 2017 for me. The best show ever. I'm counting it. It's just a perfect... Probably a 9.5 to a 10, a perfect 10 out of 10. It's that good. It was a really good show. I mean, it kind of sucked, like, afterwards getting out 
out from like the parking and stuff and from trying to like get back go to like my friend's apartment where, where I sort of went with the couple friends and I didn't get back home until like 1 a.m. But yeah, that was a really good show and I actually got like half of Metallica set being uploaded. I feel probably be up by the time this video is it was uploaded, but yeah. Yeah, thank you guys for watching this video. Um, hope you enjoyed the re my review. You if, if you by any chance see, seen the show last night, let me know in the comments what you guys think about it. And I'll see you all in the next video. And keep it metal.